Hello everyone, welcome to our virtualization section. This is basically uh, extra videos for uh, our virtualization training. So we have uh, at the level for help desk, like for example, if somebody wants to learn about the help desk, then whatever we have covered so far is enough. But this is a little bit more detailed stuff now. So let's say you install Hyper-V and you want to connect more servers like I am showing you right here MGT 2012 V1 V2 so this is a, let's say 90 GB server 100 GB server and another 100 GB server so if you want to add more you can do this that gives you power of uh, controlling everything from one single place so I'm on one server I'm on MGT 2012 so you will see the Hyper-V manager right there but if you want to connect more you can just click on connect to server and simply when you create that physical server then you just type that server and click OK now if you're in a domain connected environment you won't have any issues but if you are in a work group environment then you need to make sure you put first computer name forward slash then the username and then it will connect uh, by if you provide the right password so that is how you connect all the machines together but sometimes when you are working with these machines uh, because you may forget or you may move your ethernet cable so many times that in when you're doing this when you're new you may do that and you will realize that later on if you created a, a hyper v let's say a week ago and then you started doing these two and then you come back and you let's say took out the cable and you wanted to test something in v1 and v2 then you put it in a different port then what happens your connection got moved while your hyper-v virtual network got created with the old port now nobody will guess that because you are moving things and you will never keep track of these things because uh, that's something that's not gonna uh, you know come across so the way to fix this is a uh, few things you can do with this to when you have issues so so when you turn your machines on in hyper-v let's just go ahead and turn these machine on I'm gonna go and start and I'm gonna click on start now when you turn it on you will see that yellow icon where uh, your you know um, link is not working now you may also get some error like this and that clearly tells you that the, the port channel is not set correctly so if you see this something like this then it's a pretty easy fix because you can go to the the settings and you can correct this issue so if you see something like this you're gonna go to the network adapter and you're going to pick the right Ethernet first to make sure you have that Ethernet created. That is the Ethernet that you created in the beginning. So when you click on it, you see everything is good. Then where is my issue? So if I come back here, I'm click OK, and I go back to my main uh, network settings. I want to check some things. So I'm going to go to the adapter, and then I want to see, okay, which two are on here? So first thing you, you see, if you have... A server with four different Ethernet cards you will not see a full name in here so when you move your mouse over like this you see it's 51 that is actual my Ethernet and then if you come back here this is your virtual adapter that is already connected so we don't have issue here because it's connected so where's my issue if I come here and I want to say okay that's 51 right there because I moved it I may have these issues now so if I go back where do I fix this issue? Am I going to fix this on a virtual level now or do I fix it on a main computer level? You actually have, have to fix this on a main server level because you, you, you move that port, right? So you're going to go to the virtual switch manager and here if you check now it's set to external eth Ethernet 2. That's great. Okay, that's, that's the one that we named. But look, it's changed. It's 52. And while our network is on 51, so this is a very common mistake a lot of people make when they're playing around with Hyper-V and different type of ports and Ethernet because not many people use two or three different, uh, you know, Internet connections. They usually use one and they will plug it up, plug it into a different server because they may have some issues with the one server. They want to make sure that, okay, if this server is getting Internet connection, so I want to check the Ethernet card by checking it. But, but when you do that, you forget and you put it in a wrong spot, then you got an issue right there's just like the error that you saw is related to this but sometimes what happens is you may not even see that error 
and that's where you need to actually come back over here because everything was so set up everything was done before so you may not see that error and you know you may have issues then so that's the first thing you should do is to come back and check the external network because these are your, your real networks it has to connect to the virtual network working uh you know network so virtual and then the working network so 51 is our working network if i click yes i'm going to click yes on it and it's going to apply changes and then we're going to click OK. That's done. And if I now click here, you see it's running. And uh, if I click connect and say start, then I shouldn't have any issues. But here, this is saying that this port channel whatever whatever fail to connect with this virtual network now let's find this issue we already know that our server is working so if i click on settings let's find the issue here if i click on to you see now another issue that i wanted to share with you guys that if you go ahead and see this configuration error this means either you deleted something ahead like you know you may be working here and you came here and you were like okay you know what these adapters are not working i'm going to disable it so either you disabled it or you deleted it somehow or it got corrupted or something happened to it so you need to remove that virtual ethernet and then you will see this error in there because now it doesn't even know where to find that that ethernet so you're going to come here and actually you'll have to pick that for this virtual machine to fix it and click ok and now if i click on connect and if I click on start and you see your virtual machine will start with no issues and then it will have connection too but because if I click here and I show it to you I click on connect and you see on the bottom right here that little icon that I'm going to show you now there you go this little icon represent that it has a connection that yellow triangle will go away now if everything fails what do you do you go to first of all you you go to the the you turn off your machines you won't be able to delete any virtual switches if you have machines on because it's already connected so you, you have to turn these machines off right click here go to the virtual switch manager and then delete this one right here if you say delete remove on the on the on the bottom you will be able to remove it and once you remove it it will also get removed the virtual switch switch will be removed from the main uh, server then what you want to do you want to create a new virtual disk and make sure this time you pick the right connected ethernet whichever it is is working how do you find it you're going to go to your main server and then you're going to come to the adapter and in an adapter you need to make sure you put your mouse on top of this like this and we already know that's 51 is connected the rest is disconnected this is a virtual switch that i created once i delete it from there it's going to get removed automatically so this is how you fix networking issue adapter related issue inside the vm and also the main vm uh, server and the rest i'm going to be showing you uh, in my next videos thank you